Creating a new project. So you can either go to new project here or you can go to files, then you go to new, then you select your project. After you select your project, then make sure you select Visual Basic instead of Visual C. So, Visual Basic, Windows, then under the Windows, you select a classic desktop. And make sure you select your Windows form application. So, let's give a name to uh, Game. Game. And also make sure where you save your document, where the project will be stored. So let's hit on OK for you to create a project, a new project for us. So we can resize it a bit. So this is a new form and there is nothing in it. When you run it, you see an empty form. So let's import the car way, the road. Let's import the road. The road is just an image. So we are setting the image as the background of this form. So when you go to properties, property and we find it so if you are not see properties here you can go to view then you go to properties in the situation or use the f4 key all right so this is the form property so let's select a background image which is the root so local resource import Make sure you have already downloaded the route, some of the roads. So I have my roads here. Um, yeah, I have the road here. So let me import it. After the import, you hit on OK. You see how it has, been, it has appeared. So you have to go to the properties then the layout you set it to either stretch or zoom all right so let's use the stretch a nice one all right so this is an image that you have set as the background of the form so you want the root that's the reason why we did that so this is the road. Now, let's fit the cars. So, for us to get the cars, we have to use a picture book so that we import the cars inside the picture books. Now, you have to go to <coughs> the tools number. There is no appearing here, so you go to view. Then you see the two box here. Wait on it, it will appear. So when it appears, you can log it or you, you can. Alright, so let's look for picture box. So this is a picture box. So let's select, drag and drop into the form. Resize, resize it a bit. So let's import the picture. So you can either click here and go to choose image or inside the properties of 
the printer book. You can see you can see image location over here. So you go and set it to the image. So let's use this is very simple. So choose image over here. Now let's import the car. So let's import the cars over here. So here you have to import one car. Then another picture box will take another car. So this is my car. Now okay. Alright, so this is the picture box and the image in it is very big. So let's change the size mode to yeah so stretch image to make it very clear the size of the bit make it very small a bit nice one oh okay so one in one picture so let's move the background now white under the back of the picture box so we go to black color we set it to transparent then we are done so it now let's do the same thing to this another card the two other cards but it's very simple you can use your control key hit on the control key then you drag and drop on this picture box so you select the picture you hit on the control key you drag and drop another you need three cards you drag and drop okay so let's change the car of this one to so import Let's let the car. Yeah, I think this is the car that I have. Okay. Let's set the car. Okay, nice one. The same thing applies to this. Let's change the car also. So we have car like green. Oh, nice one. So now we have our car. You can locate it at anywhere in the loop. So you can either bring it somewhere here or any, anywhere you, you, you want. Yeah, so now we have the cars over right here. Now, how do the cars move? How will the cars move? So, in this case, we have to introduce a timer. Now, when the timer starts reading, the car also starts moving. And when the car heads to the top, another timer will identify that at this point in time there was a car at this top. So the game might go over. Game might be over because mm, we don't want any car to hit on top here. Yes, so when the car is moving, getting to that place, we have to hit on it so that it will come back to the initial point. Now we are done with this plan and we have um, game over and then we try buttons and close buttons. So let's complete the design. Later on we go to the code. So in this case we have to select a label in the two box, drag and drop right here. Then you check 
seen the texture. Game over. Okay. So let's resize it a bit. Can change the font style here. The font size too. Can change it. But okay, this one if I make it big bold, alright. So let's change the back color to big face. Inside a root drive, let's resize it also a bit. So let's say 15. Make it bold. Okay, so this is our root drive button. Over 15. Let's make it 20 and see how it works. Okay. So let's hit on the control and click and hold on the retry button. Then you drag and drop to create a, a copy of it. So let's change the Name to close. Okay. So this is our close button, and this is our race try button. Okay. And design so let's give another label where we have show the scores. So let's make it um,
that the end of the game. So two tasks were at the end of the game. And I want to let's use the test let's see the test score. Initial to be zero. So I take that from game. So this is the game. Now there is no cause and right. So in order for us to move this button, this pictures, and also Control use this control buttons. We need to code under 